All right, coaches, Mike Kuchar, www.xandolabs.com. We're going to throw you back with some vintage footwork here, the academies and vintage film of some Veer concepts and odd fronts. This is all detailed in the full-length special report on option concepts versus Veer and versus uh, odd and even fronts on beca by becoming an insider at www.xandolabs.com. This is actually Air Force playing Navy a couple years back. We have the both wide and tight shots of this. This is an unbalanced formations. You know, a lot of coaches talked about using these unbalanced formations when running the option concepts. And uh, there's uh, there's been a lot of questions about veer, running veer to odd fronts. We found that coaches do prefer it, okay, depending on what you're seeing each week. But this is going to be an outside veer concept. It's going to be a wide five technique. Who's going to slant down? Okay, so here's the HOK, the handoff key. Veer release by that guard. Forcing that player to tackle the fullback. Here's the 9. And again, when you have a 5-9 or a 3-9, chances are that ball is going to be pitched pretty quickly. If you do pull the ball as a quarterback, if they don't give it to the, the dive man, quarterback does get it pitched. Get some block on the perimeter. That's a good concept. I want to show you this cross block. This was something that was detailed in the report on how to block the perimeter. Okay, what you're going to see now is a typical cross block. You have two wide out here. Okay, two over two. It's a pretty good concept to use if you want the ball pitched on the perimeter. Here comes number one. He's going to go crack. Okay, on the innermost threat, and here comes number two, the A-back, whatever you call him. He's arcing. What that does now is able to get a better or cleaner perimeter for the veer pitch. So right now when the ball gets pitched, you have two on number one. You have a down block over here. Okay, and you're going to run that ball right in the alley. Excuse me, just beat a free safety. And you got a good shot. Get an end zone shot of it here. <clears throat> Got a flex bone situation now. This is Navy. We'll actually go to the next clip that looks like that was midline. Pure dive right now. Check the perimeter block and we got Veer coming this way. Again, you know, this is a mistake by the X out here. Uh, I know Paul Johnson in Georgia Tech system now coaches are starting to refer to blocking the near deep defender. Okay, if you are the X in this situation as this defender starts to pedal, okay, and he gets an invert right now, the decision should be made to block that invert. Okay, for whatever reason right now that receiver stays on his path. Okay, and you have the A back doing the same exact thing, and nobody right now is squaring up to block that downhill alley defender. Pretty good job playing it by Navy. You know, on this technique, this left tackle, this veer release right now, depending on what he's getting on his release, he should be stepping hard inside and working to climb okay pretty good squeeze by that five technique able to get his hands on a little bit force the pitch of the quarterback navy true flex bone again odd front for air force check the perimeter blocking Okay, right now they decide that the receiver is going to block the corner. Head up on him. He's going to handle number one. Looks like the A-back is going to come over and block number two. 
That's an excellent, excellent job, of course, by that five technique, running that play down. That's something you cannot have, okay? The handoff key, run the play down. Tremendous pursuit. So they stunt or they move pre-snap into a four eye. There's a down block. There's a handoff key right here. He's able to feather and then work down the line of scrimmage to make a tackle. Show you one more clip here. Flex bone again. That's a pretty good decision on the give. You'll see it from a better angle. Again, we're all talking veer versus odd front. Depending on what you want to do with that split, we found our research that most coaches, the majority, are going to prefer three-foot splits along the line. If he's going to be in a wide five and you could release in there, there's a lot of room for that A back or that B back, depending on what you're calling him. Pretty good release. Nine times out of ten, if he gets a release like that, this is going to be an arm tackle. Either way, it's going to be yardage, three or four yards, which most, op most option coaches will take. Coaches, we appreciate you logging in. Again, this is only part of the information that we presented on our Case 2 and Veer and Midline Option Concepts varying interior and exterior blocking schemes. Coaches, thanks for logging in. You can find more information at www.xandolabs by becoming an Insider member.